My name is Susan Salick. I'm a cardiologist with MidMichigan Health. I have a special interest in advanced cardiac imaging as well as heart disease in women. Heart disease in women is extremely common. It kills more women than it does men in the United States. And when compared to breast cancer, heart disease leads to one in three deaths in women where breast cancer causes one in 31 deaths per year. Heart disease in women can take many forms. The most common form of heart disease, as in men as well, is coronary artery disease or blockages in the heart arteries. However, other forms of heart disease can include valvular heart disease, meaning a valve is too narrow or too leaky, electrical system heart disease, as well as disease of the heart muscle itself, not caused by one of these other causes. Heart disease risk factors in women include the commonly known risk factors like diabetes, smoking, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, as well as a family history of coronary artery disease and a first degree relative at a young age. Beyond that, increased stress, low activity level, as well as being overweight are other things that can lead to increased risk for heart related problems. Heart disease can manifest as chest pain, tightness or heaviness, shortness of breath, inability to do everything that you once were able to do, minus age-related changes, of course, lightheadedness, dizziness, passing out, palpitations, racing heart, any symptoms that are completely new and different for you that don't have another good explanation need to be paid attention to. What's recommended is exercising brisk aerobic activity 30 to 60 minutes most days of the week, eating a diet that's low in cholesterol and saturated fats, increasing fiber in your diet, lots of fruits and vegetables, quitting smoking, staying away from people who smoke around you, so avoiding secondhand smoke exposure, and maintaining a normal, healthy weight. Waist circumference is an important factor. Keeping that less than about 35 inches um, is another parameter that can be followed. So whether you have symptoms or you simply want to look at your own personal risk for heart disease, talking more with your healthcare provider can give you a lot of additional information, help you identify risk factors that you may have not known that you have, and also target what areas of your lifestyle and modification need to be looked after in order to be healthier.